What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So EA have released Prime Moments Icon Cliver into SBCs and this card right here boys, oh he's looking like a pretty decent card. 89 pace, 86 dribbling, 93 shooting, 82 passing with the 84 physicals as well. Okay, he's a 6 foot 2 player, high low work rate, 4 star skill moves with a 5 star weak foot. He's had a weak foot upgrade compared to his prime. So he went from 4 star to 5 star. I'm not complaining. You want to give him 5 star weak foot? Go ahead and give him, you know? I'm always going to be happy with it. Now when it comes down to the chem style, engine chem style I feel like is the way to go. But it is another chem style that you can use on this card. If I feel like his dribbling is just simply not good enough, I will switch it to a finisher chem style. Because you are wasting stats when it comes down to his shooting ability with the finisher chem soul. But it is giving him that plus that extra plus 5 agility compared to the engine. And also plus 5 to dribbling. So finisher chem soul honestly could be the way to go. But I'm going to stick with the engine for now. Because it doesn't waste as much stats as the finisher chem, the finisher chem soul actually does. Now when it comes down to the pace, he's got 94 acceleration with 94 sprint speed. So the guy... It's clearly not a slow player for a 6 foot 2 player, especially. Now, the shooting ability, 94 attacking positioning, 97 finishing, 93 shot power, 85 long shots, 86 volleys with the 85 penalties. Does he got, Has he got any shooting traits? He does. The outside foot shot trait, which is, you know, it's a good trait. But we would have been, you know, a bit better with the finesse shot trait. But it is what it is. We have to deal with it. Passing ability. He's got 91 vision, 80 crossing, 80 free accuracy, 92 short passing, 85 long passing with the 89 curve. Now, the passing ability is looking pretty decent. But the problem is, right, you can't really play this guy in a cam position because of those high low work rates. It's going to be a situation of you're pretty much going to have like a second striker if you're playing like a 4-2-3-1. And if you're playing like a, a 4 one 2 one 2 you might have even a third striker. That's that's the issue. Because of those high-low work rates, it's not going to allow him to even stick in that cam position at all. He's always going to be aggressive. So, passing ability, I wouldn't say it's wasted because it's still going to be very good in that striker position. But we're probably not going to use it to its full potential, I must say. Now, his dribbling ability, he's got 84 agility, 88 balance, 91 reactions, 91 ball control, 94 dribbling with the 87 composure. Very impressive dribbling stats for a 6'2 player. And if we are looking at the physicals, 92 jumping is very good. 92 heading accuracy is also very good and he has got that power header trait which means we will be giving the near post header a go when it comes off corners and hopefully hopefully it can actually come off well now when it comes down to the stamina 83 hmm you're paying a lot for this card so you expect him to last for the whole 90 minutes and 83 stamina could be a little bit of an issue he has got 87 strength though while having 76 aggression now when it comes down to links as i said He's an icon, boys. Like, the guy can link up with whoever you want. I've personally gone for Ribery, Mares, and your boy Curtis Jones. Now, Cliver will be playing in a 4-4-2 in that striker position. And I might give him a go in that cam position. But I feel like he's just not going to stick into that position. So, we might as well just have another striker. But let's get into these games. Going to give it to Cliver right here. Nice little turn. It kind of got fouled a little bit. But let's see he's dribbling. Oh, he does seem a little bit stiff, I must admit. Like, okay, to cancel. Yeah, it seems a little bit stiff, but it definitely is usable without a doubt. Let's go for the hill to hills. Let's go for this attack. Can I go for a finesse shot? Nah, I just got blocked. RBA, straight over to him. I'll play a good touch. Can I go for a pass down? I can. Can I pass it back into the middle? I can. Give it to Ribery. Give it back to Cliver. Keep going. With that five-star weak foot, oh, oh, maybe not. Apparently, he's going to use his stronger foot. I thought he was going to use his five-star weak foot just to hit it towards the near post. But if he can use his stronger foot, I'm not complaining. And lo as long as the ball goes into the back of the net, I'm going to be happy. Let's see if we can try to get him to make a run or something. Because right now, even with high-low work rates, he's actually coming short a decent amount. Like, look at him right now. He's, like, kind of responding to the way I'm dribbling, which is very interesting to see because you don't see that from a high-low work rate player very often. Can we get that? Oh. Oh, my. Now, was was that meant to go in? No. But did it go in? Apparently, yes. That was an insanely good shot with a lot of shot power behind it as well. Trent. Going to beam it all the way over to Cliver. That's the thing, right? When you're playing him in that striker position, you can use that heading ability. So you can literally just chip him up the ball. And you know he's always, always going to win that ball. Going to go for that ball roll. Ball roll again. Nice little dribbling. Run out of the shot turn. 
Black O'Hare to cancel. Boys, I'm surprised on how fast he actually does the skill moves. Like, I thought he was going to be one of those players that, yeah, he's got skill moves to his game, but he's not going to be an extremely fast player when it comes down to actually doing it, you know? But he is really fast. He does, like, the Lack of Keta very quick. He does the hill to hills very quick as well. But we have got a corner here, and there's only one thing to do. We're going to hit it to him, and we're going to hope that he actually wins it because the guy has moved the keeper. I think, like... Wait, hold on a second. No, he actually missed it. Cliver pushed his player onto the floor, so he was going to be actually wide open, but he does miss out on the header. Curtis Jones into the middle. That's a good pass. That's a good turn. Going to just go for the power shot across goal, and we are going to get the finish. And I believe this guy might actually end up rage critting. Let's see. He is going to rage crit? He is going to rage crit. Little ball roll, try to turn you. It's done well. He's done really well. Good acceleration touch. Ball roll. Turn it again. Quickly go for a finesse shot. And he is just going to miss the target. That was really good by him, by the way. To have that acceleration, to go through that little space, it was definitely needed. Give it to him right here. Going to try to see if I can go for that turn. And then go for a finesse shot. Oh, my God. Wait, hold up. So, you're telling me he couldn't finish the last opportunity, but he could finish this one? That doesn't make sense in my eyes. But either way, what a finish. Morris at the ball. Give it back to him. Going to go up. Lacquer to cancel in between both of them. And it is going to be a guaranteed finish. This guy right here, he has no idea where I'm going. I'm literally doing all these twists and turns inside the box. He's trying to cover passing lanes. But I'm just running with Cliver. And I'm having fun out here, boys. Can I double weight over to him? I can. Well played. Good touch as well. I'm noticing, by the way, he, his ball control is ridiculously good. That's a good heel to heel between them. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Good use of strength, by the way. Like, for a second there, I definitely was like, okay, he's going to get outbodied here because I saw the guy was in front of him. But he was being aggressive. He was fighting back. And that's what made us score this goal. Give it to Clyro right here. Well played. I see a, a, a little cheeky through ball all the way to the top. And it is going to be a really good pass, boys. This is the thing with Cliver. He's going to have that passing ability to his game. So he's going to be able to do that time to time. So I have switched to the 4-2-3-1 formation. And I am playing Cliver into that cam position now. So we are going to see how it goes. Because in that striker position, I must admit, he wasn't super, super aggressive. So it starts to make me think a little bit. Maybe in that cam position, he is not, he is not aggressive at all. Can I go... Wait, hold up a second. I might actually get a goal here. I think I overdid it, boys. I think I overdid it. Hold up. For the gap. Nah, I overdid it. He, I've done that like two or three times that against this guy now. So he's going to start to read it. Going to give it to Cliver right here. Going to give it back to Curtis Jones. So he's giving me the passing options. Yeah, he's going to make that run. 100%. Is he going to stay up there now? No, he's actually going to come short into the space. That's pretty decent. Give it to Ribery. Let's see his movement here. Still kind of kind of give me the option, but then he is going to run away, then give me the option again, and then make the run. Yeah, you can tell right there that he's trying to, you know, trying to get into that striker position. He's trying to make those runs, but he's also trying to find the open space for it. So it kind of makes him double think himself, and obviously he goes for the passing option and all. I'm going to continue, like, trying it just to 100% make sure, but I feel like it's going to be one of those ones, boys, where we predicted it, and we are seeing it. Over to Cliver. Going to give it to Ribery. He's going to make that instant run, which is expected, to be fair. I'm going to give it back to Morris. And he's going to make that run once again. Yeah, boys, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be one of those ones where he's not going to be a cam at all. He's going to act like a second striker with how aggressive he is in that cam position. So, for me, personally, you would be rather off going into that striker position without a doubt. Clover. Going to go for probably up for a long shot. Oh, my God. That wasn't even a good angle either. And he actually manages to squeeze it in. So, it is time to review him. Two games played, seven goals scored, and we didn't get an assist. But that's not going to matter. If you're scoring seven goals with this guy, you don't care about the assist. It's simple as that, boys. This card right here, he's a very good card. Very, very, very good card. Like, he's shooting ability. Oh, my God. Is it good? Especially with that five-star weak foot. Ha. Huh. It's very nice. Now, the one thing that I felt like was going to be bad on him was the dribbling ability. And I did say I was most likely going to try a finisher chem style on this card. But then I realized how he kind of was moving with the engine chem style. And I thought to myself, all right. If you give this guy a finisher chem style, he might feel a little bit better on the ball, but you're losing that pace and you're losing that passing ability. So is it really going to be worth it? And I came down to saying it wasn't. It really wasn't because having that extra pace to his game is going to make a huge improvement. Okay. Now he might feel better on the ball with a finisher, but I feel like he feels good enough 
with the engine chem style that you might as well go ahead and give him the engine chem style. Now, do I believe this card is worth getting when it's currently going for 855k on PS on PS sorry, on Xbox and 900k on PlayStation as an SPC card? Who? Oh. It all comes down to your playstyle. That's one thing I would say. It all comes down to your playstyle. Do you want a player that is six foot two in a striker position? Or are you more of a player that kind of likes the small but very agile players? Like the Neymars, you know? Like the Mbappes. Well, Mbappe is not really small, but you get what I'm saying. Do you want a six foot two player in that striker position? As I said, it all comes down to your playstyle. If he fits your playstyle, get him. Get him, get him, get him. You will not be disappointed. But if he doesn't fit your playstyle, just push him to a side and don't spend coins on him. Simple as that. But let's get into the ratings. Pace-wise, he's a very fast player, without a doubt. So for pace, I am going to give him, I would honestly say like a 9 out of 10. He's up there, definitely is. Shooting ability. Oh. You know what? I'm going to go for it again. I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 for shooting. I really am. Boys, this card, don't sleep on it when it comes down to shooting. Do not sleep on it because it's easily one of the best finishers I have seen in this game. Left foot, right foot, it doesn't matter. Power shot, finesse shot, it doesn't matter. The ball is flying in. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for shooting. Passing ability. I was really impressed about his passing, you know. Like, long passing was very good. And the fact that he has got that five-star weak foot is also very good to see. So for passing, I am going to give him... I'd honestly say like an 8.5, 8.6 out of 10. Really nice. Really, really nice. Dribbling ability. Now, the one thing I must admit that I was insanely impressed about was the ball control. This guy did not take a bad touch. He just didn't take a bad touch. Like, every single time I would power the ball straight at him with an RBA or an RBX, he would take it perfectly down pretty much every time. And that's something that I was really enjoying about him. So, for dribbling, I am going to give him... I would say like an 8.7 out of 10. I don't want to go over the top because he has got certain angles that you do have to get used to in a way. But trust me, use those skill moves to its full potential with this card right here. And you're going to be moving crazy with a 6 foot 2 player. Now for the physicals, we tried to go for that near post header, but he ended up losing it. Which is sad because like the power header trait would have been so nice to actually have, you know, not have, sorry, to use, you know, but still for the physicals, I'm still going to give him a higher rating because I really did love his strength. His aggression, by the way, no way it's 76, no chance. It felt way, way higher and his stamina did last for the whole 90 minutes and that's always a good thing to say because you kind of get worried a little bit. You kind of get worried a little bit, but because of those high, low work rates and him not coming back at all, it means he's not going up and down. He's always going up. So he doesn't use that much stamina. So yeah, stamina does make him last for the whole 90 minutes. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, I'll probably say like a solid 8.6, 8.7 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, he impressed me. He really, really did. So I am going to give this card, I would say like an 8.8 .8 out of 10 on the dot. I don't want to go any lower and I don't want to go any higher. He's a very impressive card with actually 8.88 .8 slash 8.9. I kind of want to push it more towards a 9. Either way, boys, he's a fantastic card. I have a, I had a lot of fun with him, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.